And listen, you all know too much now. Even if you're the person that I said just didn't care, you're not pleading ignorance on the day of judgment. You're going to stand in front of a God who's not merciful and not full of grace at that point in time. You're going to stand before a just God who makes no mistakes. And you're not going to tell him, I didn't know that that was more important. You're not going to sit there and plead ignorance and tell him, I didn't know. Because I'm here to tell you, Jesus is telling you, you need to kill Will. Those things in your world that you think mean something to you, they don't mean anything compared to the will of God in your life. And you need to put them on an altar. And you need to kill them so that Jesus Christ can consume them. And the fires of the Holy Ghost can rise up in you. It's important. Brother Austin, I'm, I'm literally almost done. I didn't write any notes. So if you want to get a song. But I'm coming down here for this. I love it. Each one of you means something. You're my brothers and sisters, and I'm going to take it lightly. I want what's best for every one of you. I want the blessings of God to fulfill your life. I want you to live above sin and pain and hurt and heartache and depression and all the things that this world has and that it uses against us. I want you tonight to take this Please grab hold of this. Because I'm sick and tired of preaching these messages. I told Aunt Marcy, I'd rather preach you a Joel Osteen message and tell you that it's going to be prosperous and it's going to be rainbows and little white ponies running around. But I've got to preach what God puts on my heart because somebody is not getting it. I need you. I'm begging you to get it so we can quit preaching these kind of messages. I would much rather preach some candy-coated message with a cherry on top. But I can't. Because I have to do what God tells me. Which tells me why do we repeat ourselves? Why is it constant? Why? 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 Here's why you're not grabbing a hold of it. Somebody doesn't get it. Somebody doesn't get that they need to kill Will in their lives. If you want the things of God, you're going to have to kill Will. He doesn't want your second best. He wants what's precious to you. Man, come down here. Come here. Of course, you, come up. You three, come up here. If Nate and Allie were here, I'd have them up here too. Sit on here. You want to know what's precious to Brother Cluster? Yes. You're looking at it. It's what makes me roll out of bed in the morning, rub my achy knees, say a prayer, lace them boots up a little bit tighter, and get on down the road. You want to know what keeps me awake at night praying? You're looking at it. I want what's best for me. I want them to flourish in the Holy Ghost. I want them to be used of God. My children that aren't saved, I want them to be saved. They're going to do great things for the kingdom of God. They mean everything to me. They're more than breath itself. I give up life for them. But every single morning, I put them on an altar. And I tell God, you know what they mean to me. But I give them to you right now. They've always been yours anyway. You just let me borrow them while I'm here on earth. But if it means the difference between them and him, I choose him every time. I put what's precious on an altar to me every single morning. And it kills me. And I don't like it. But I do it. Because i got to present myself a living sacrifice. 
and for that sacrifice to be acceptable, nothing else can mean more than Jesus Christ and his will in my world. And I sacrifice what means everything to me every single morning for the will of God to be done in my life. I don't know what's precious to you. And I don't know why you seem to think that something is more important than the will of God in your life. He wants you to put what's precious to you on an altar. If you need the Holy Ghost, it's the first thing you should do. I don't care what it is in your world. I don't care. Put it on this altar. If it's your children, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, none of them are worth what God has for you in store. You need to put it on an altar and you need to kill it and you need to let God consume it. And here's the thing, it's all about will. Will you or will you not kill will? Because it's just about the willingness to do it. God marched Abraham out into the middle of nowhere for three days with Isaac. He put him on that altar. Isaac meant everything to Abraham. God didn't ask him for Ishmael. He asked him for Isaac. Isaac was the promise. Isaac was the covenant child between God and Abraham. He would carry on the generations. He was the covenant child. He meant everything to Abraham. And Abraham walked him out there and put him up on that altar. He killed Will. And God really doesn't want that. I told you before, God never asked for a human sacrifice. What did he do? He said, Abraham, stop. Now I know. Now I know that you're willing to kill Will. He didn't take what was precious. I put him on an altar every day for the last 10 years. They're still here breathing air. Why? God doesn't want them. He doesn't want their life. He wants my willingness to do it. He wants to know that I will kill my will to fulfill his. And because of that, I am a blessed man. I have a great wife, healthy children. They're all productive members of society. They're doing the right things. God's using these ones for great things. He's going to use the other ones for great purpose in the kingdom of heaven. All because he knows that I'm willing to kill Will. He knows that I'm willing to walk as a living sacrifice, that I will uphold righteousness and holiness, that I will do His will, regardless of what anyone else thinks. They don't like it sometimes, the things that Dad has to do, but Dad does them anyway. They mean everything to me, but I put them on the altar. And I'm closing, and the altars are open. What do you want? Are you willing? Or aren't you not? Will you pull Will on the altar? Will you kill him? Will you kill self-will for the blessing?